part three the O2 mercury sable still uh, working on this oil pan leak oil antifreeze got the uh, timing cover and the oil pan to replace here's what I'm torn down to now you see the starters out the Y pipe is out I unloosened all the bolts on the oil pan, 8 millimeter bolts. Remove the bell housing cover. One bolt was oblong stripped out, so I had to use a hammer and pound a 7 millimeter on there to get that one out. So that's the only one that's free now, the dip sticks out of it. So you'll see it's kind of in the same state on the top half as it was, besides the Y pipes removed. The back oxygen sensor stayed in. Didn't have to remove that. Here's the parts that are removed so far. There's a Y pipe. Got about six bolts total. The very top one stayed on to hang the exhaust on the top before I slipped it down. I did not remove the O2 sensors. Just on, you know, unclipped them from the wiring harness. I found that was much easier than trying to remove, you know, the exhaust bolt that's been heated. Right there's the inspection plate for the bell housing cover where the starter goes. There's your dampener with a puller on it. I end up using the um, two of the four of the factory bolts to pull off the dampener because the ones that the kit came with, none of them really fit right. I just got the basic kit and, you know, maybe that was a problem. Uh, there is the uh, converter heat shield, Cadillac converter heat shield. Pretty rusted. This thing was a real pain to get out, but um, got that out. Of course, the starter is removed over there. Two or three bolts. I got the other bolts in the car. Pretty much the same parts here. Mess of tools laying around for dis different sections of the project but um, yeah. so now I'm going to drop this oil pan and then uh, still got a vacuum off the top of the motor so I got the vacuum hose in there, I got to clean that all up before I pull this timing cover off and then I took the gasket box that it came with and I marked it all where all the bolts go which it doesn't say in the repair manual to keep them in order but from past experiences of pulling pans, it's got different lengths of bolts in different areas of the pan, so gonna make sure they go back in the original place. But that's it for right now. So get a video once I pull this oil pan and then the timing cover.